Ladies and gentlemen, fellow musicians and aspiring rappers. Appreciate y'all for checking out this video. As you can tell by the title, you know what we about to get in. I thank you for joining me today. You know, we're going to talk about a couple different topics about why rappers ain't making money and what we can make money in. Now, we're going to delve into the art of making money as a rapper. This is things that I'm exploring, different avenues that I have already explored, and we're going to explore different avenues with each other and go beyond just, you know, just releasing music. So now it's time to get going it's time to embrace this history man you know we got a lot of data at our hands and we're not really using that information and we got to actually you know help each other and spread this information a little bit quicker you know for each other type shit so it helps us become successful musicians you know over the years <laughs> you know so that's why i'm making this video now Back in the early days of hip hop, you know, boom bap type, even beforehand, uh, cool hurt, 50 year anniversary, pioneers like Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, you got Run DMC, you know, they had limited options for what they can do to make money because it wasn't a whole lot of, there was nothing there at that time. They had to lay the platform. Now, their pri primary income that came from, live performances you know the early days of hip-hop was mainly just performances yeah you had record sales but really record labels was making the profit off that they had like distribution deals now the industry evolved though and so did the opportunities for financial growth and we're gonna get into a couple of these points within the video now first point according to a 2021 report by statista Revenue from live music events accounted for or it surpassed $20 billion worldwide. And that's a big number, $20 billion worldwide. Now that proved that concerts and performances alone, and they remained a lucrative source of income for artists. So that's why we get to the point where we got to talk about uh, charging for your shows, getting money up front. You gotta you gotta be vigilant because sometimes that streaming check ain't gonna be nothing for a long time. Now, so we got other channels for rappers to tap into for increased earnings. You know, and you know we gotta be vig vigilant. We gotta learn about these different things. Now we're gonna get into brand endorsements. I tell all the time, brand endorsements and sponsorships is really big for artists. Even if you just creating content and you rapping. You need some type of endorsements to make some money. Now, in the late 1980s, Run DMC, they had a groundbreaking deal with Adidas. Now, everybody knows that song, My Adidas, by Run DMC, making a big wave. Then you hit Aerosmith. They changed the game. They was the first hip-hop group to secure a major label deal, endorsement deal. You know, that paved the way for us today. So now you can go on Instagram, make videos, go on youtube make videos wherever you want to choose and you can start making money off of these different platforms just by posting videos to get sponsorships now these global brand endorsements they market you to a wider audience make you bigger look at drake now global brand endorsements was valued at over 57 billion dollars in 2020 now that offered a vast potential for rappers to partner with companies and build relationships with these companies over a long term time. Now you see these companies like even look at Meek Mill. Meek Mill is partnered with Puma. That's kind of a global brand right there. Yeah, Nike and Adidas is here, but it's kind of global with Puma, soccer players, and everybody wear. It. You got hip hop fashion. They get into fashion. ASAP Rocky, Kanye. Look at them. Now Wu Wu Tang Clan. They had the Mer merchandise <laughs> they had everybody on on point with the merchandise everybody uh before i even really understood what the wu-tang clan was you saw the symbol you saw the merch you seen i'm pretty sure i seen it at walmart at one point but that can be an extension of the artist's brand you know that brings in substantial revenue so then we're gonna get to data point three i know y'all want to get through this video i got five points for y'all now according to nielsen music's 
2019 report, music related merchandise sales reached 3.48 billion in the US alone. 3.48 billion showcasing the immense popularity of artist merchandise. Now, if that, that means you need to get a piece of that money, all in billions of dollars, you need to drop merch, create merch, get somebody to draw it up. If you ain't got no creative ability, draw it up. Now, online platforms and social media help you sell these different items of clothing, get you out there, and they brought bun bundles back to where you can sell your albums with the merch. And the rise of the internet revolutionized that. They revolutionized music distribution. So you can get a t-shirt and an album now independent artists like chance the rapper and russ you already know russ you already know chance the rapper they leverage that online platform to build a massive fan base and then they use that without label support and got a whole bunch of money record deals clothing deals whatever now in 2020 the recording industry association of america that's the RIAA reported that streaming platforms accounted for, guess how much? 83% of music industry revenue. But that don't really go to the artists. That goes to those big artists that are bringing in big numbers on the streaming. So you got to hit these lower little, little achievements to get there. You got to build up your online presence. You got to get some followers. You got to get some clout. You got to monetize that clout. You got to get your fan base to engage, to get you somewhere else. Buy the merch. Come to the show. Buy the merch. Come to the show. <laughs> now, yeah, rappers like Queen Latifah, Ice Cube, Will Smith, uh, LL Cool J, Ice T. You know, they all got into acting. Now, acting is a big part. I want to get into acting myself. And that helps you showcase your talent and it shows that you have diversity, you know, and that helps diversify your income. I don't, depending on how your contract is, the label wouldn't really get money off of you doing a movie that has nothing to do with the music, but it can help the music sell. So I don't know how that would go. Now that revenue exceeded 42 billion in 2019. And that demonstrated the vast opportunities in the entertainment industry. So if this hitting billions of dollars, if if revenue from streaming is is in the billions, and then you can go and be an actor and get some money off of that, you can sell merch, you can sell product, you could sell information, not not illegally, but you can sell the pathway to getting into the industry or networking around the industry. So with that being said, these are these are the reasons why you're broke because you're probably not doing these things. You probably don't really give a you probably don't really give a shit about it. But if you want to do this, if you want to make money in that shit, you gotta leverage your influence to get merchandise, endorsements, build an online platform, explore activities, opportunities, and you gotta become a trailblazer. You gotta be one of those people who shape history and leverage the data that we have now to illustrate that to become that to be you and we out man i appreciate y'all tuning in like comment subscribe i'm gonna keep this video short we're gonna come back with something more of this if y'all want it like comment and subscribe